Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at digital SLR lenses and how to use them. This episode specifically, we're taking a look at the zoom and telephoto lens. Now, there's a few reasons why you'd want to use a zoom lens. And the main one, I think, is probably because you can't get close enough to the subject that you're trying to shoot. For example, you're at a sporting event. Obviously, you're not going to climb right onto the field to take a picture of someone on third base, for example. So you'd want a lens that will actually get you close up to the action. Another reason is that you're taking photography of wildlife. So a bird or a, a deer in the, in the bush, obviously you're not going to get right up in front of them and do that because they'll run away or they'll fly away and you won't have a shot to take. So you'll want to do that from afar and it's always better to keep a respectful distance anyways in that situation. Now the main pro to a zoom lens of course is magnification. When you've got a 50 millimeter lens like this, you have a certain field of vision. Now zooming all the way in with 400 takes you right into the action eight times, in fact, what the 50 millimeter lens can do. The cons of this, there's a few of them. Now, the lens itself, as you can tell, it's, there's a lot of glass in here to achieve the magnification, which means it's very heavy. So carrying this on your shoulder for any length like of time can be a real trial. And if you have a few of these in your kit, it can weigh you down quite a lot. And the other thing is you lose a lot of light in a, a zoom lens like this. There's a lot of barrel of the, the lens here and not as much light goes from here as it does to the sensor. Compare it to something that's this small, there's not a lot of distance here for the light to be lost. So this is 2.8 aperture. This one right here starts at 4.5 and goes all the way down to 5.6, which is basically losing a lot of light just by having the extra, extra glass and extra barrel of the lens here. The other thing is when you zoom out is you have the potential to get really blurry shots because you're zooming way way into something like this and every movement of your hand like this essentially magnifies the end of the lens. As you can see I'm not moving the, the camera all that much but the lens is moving quite a great deal at the end and that's where the image is coming in. So any tiny motion that you have with your hand is going to magnify when you go through the, the long lens like this. Now in this case we have optical stabilization on here to make up for that but with lenses that don't have optical stabilization, you may end up with really blurry and shaky images when you're zoomed all the way into an item. The other thing with something like this is it really changes your perspective on, on the shot itself. So when you have a, a shot taken with a 50 millimeter or wide angle lens, you have a lot more of the, the shot and the background in there. When you zoom in from afar, the background changes. So we're going to take a look at two pictures here. The first one is taken with a 50 millimeter lens. You can see the subjects in relation to the background. Now, when you change to a telephoto lens, in this case, you walk a long ways back and then zoom in, you'll notice that the background actually changes in comparison to the foreground. So you have a different sense of what you have. In addition, the distance between the two items in the foreground actually changes as well. So you have less of a, a distance between them from the perspective of your new shot. So it's worth remembering that walking back and zooming in is a much different experience from a photographic perspective than actually getting right up close to it. You'll end up with a different effect altogether. Anyways, that's a look at zoom and telephoto lenses. Don't forget to check out the other parts in our series where we take a look at some of the other different types of lenses and how to use them.